So this is going to kind of be a challenge of sorts, but I was watching these videos um, yesterday and this YouTube channel called Chrissy, she talks about colorism and um, well-known colorists in our community and things like that. And um, this video, it was um, really eye-opening and I thought I would share it, though I know this sounds so backwards, coming from a skin um, lightening channel to say this or even to, you know, send this message along. But um, I just, I wanted to share it just to make sure that if you're on this journey that you're not... You're not hoping like for some miracle that this is going to be like a magic wand that's going to change your life <laughs> drastically um, because I, I don't really think that's what's going to happen. Um, if you're getting into this and let's say you hated your skin or you ever felt depressed over your skin or like you were ugly, um, honestly I don't, I don't really think that this is going to be your answer because I think you probably have some internal stuff that you need to get over or to work out like I, I don't think even if you successfully stick with this for the three or four months or however long it takes I think you're still going to find some issues with yourself so understand that I would never judge you if you want to lighten your skin lighten it I hate the double standard how you know white women for years they can tan and um some of them get very very dark we're talking three to four shades darker you know no one really cares <laughs> no one really no one's really freaking out other than you know maybe saying oh you're gonna get skin cancer things like that um glutathione and msm being a natural way to skin lighten this is completely different than using bleaching creams and um you know the stuff that's banned in the US. None of this that we're doing is banned and people have been mega dosing vitamin C for other illnesses and diseases long before we came along. Um, though most of these people are white, so they wouldn't really necessarily see a difference in their skin anyways. Really the only, I think, controversial or worrying uh, skin lightening routine that people are kind of wondering is this bad or is this good would be the IV glutathione. They don't really know if there's any long-term consequences for those people who are doing multiple IVs a week for you know a long period of time. Other than that, yeah, there are people who are mega dosing MSM, um, though these are the types of people who live with chronic pain, especially like in their joints and arthritis. They're the ones taking like a tablespoon a day or more. With vitamin C, uh, it's kind of half and half. You'll see um, recovering cancer patients, um, people with other diseases, and you'll just see people who are just kind of health freaks and they have their whole family taking 8,000 to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C and they just do it every day. So I don't feel like anything that we're talking about is really revolutionary. We're just actually talking about it <laughs> um, for the benefits that you get if you know you do one or two of these things at the same time and you happen to have dark skin. That's really the only difference. Um, I don't think any of this is harmful or I would not be sharing it. Uh, we don't want anyone getting hurt or anything. But I think some people think that people who lighten their skin that they hate themselves or they're like depressed over being darker or something like that. You know, even looking at my skin tone and you know, the pictures that I've shared with you guys Obviously, you can tell by the type of pictures that I'm taking. Um, I did not think myself unattractive. Um, these definitely aren't the type of pictures people take who hate themselves or think that they're ugly, obviously. I'm sharing my personal sexy time photos <laughs> with you guys. But yeah, um, you know, this, I think of this, this natural skin lightening, just as I would getting a new wig or changing my hair color, which thank God for wigs because I've just like over the years dyeing my hair red, my natural hair um, like a bluish black and like doing all that like oh I, I killed it so thank God for wigs but you know people who put layers and layers and layers and layers of makeup on themselves and who completely transform their features 
Um, you know, we don't really give them half as much shit as we would someone who's, you know, lightening their skin. Or like I said, the double standard with people are able to tan themselves either in the tanning bed or, or just by, you know, spray tans, which I think are not as harmful. And no one really cares. I mean, but those people are like getting, you know, three to four shades darker. So I don't know, it just kind of sucks that we don't really have the freedom to openly talk about this because it's seen as a, a self-hate type of movement. Like we're feeding into that and really it's just, this is just another way to modify yourself. And um, we're doing it as, I don't know, kind of experimentation and, you know, just like you would try to become the best version of yourself through if you're getting some type of surgery or if you're going hardcore in the gym, working out an unrealistic amount of hours to transform your body into something that you've never had before. You know, it's just everyone feels like they want to look and feel their best. So anyways, if you have an open mind, I challenge you as someone who's lightening their skin to watch you know the video I'll have everything linked down below and um, tell me what you think and tell me how you feel and kind of just check in with yourself and um, see what is making you want to lighten your skin and um, I think this if you're honest with yourself I'm not saying come back here and tell me what you think but you know just this is more of a very personal discussion you should probably have with yourself but you'll probably figure out pretty quick if this is something that's truly going to um make you happy like maybe you're thinking like i said this is going to be a magic wand that's going to change your entire life <laughs> um or is this something that you're just doing just because you just like to look your best like this is just like a new wig for you or a new hair color or a new personal trainer that's going to transform your body like I, I don't know, um, you know, before you get any type of surgery, usually the doctors kind of like um, feel you out. They want to make sure that you're not a depressed person because usually those depressed people who are like think that a surgery is going to change their life and fix all of their problems. Those are the types of people who then afterwards when they're still depressed with their shitty life who come back and try to um you know sue for all that they can get from this doctor because oh my god I'm not better so anyways I challenge you to watch these videos and you know really tell me what you think um she got some of her information from I think it's called light girls I'll have again some links below you can watch it on Amazon for free um They'll try to do like a seven day trial with Urban TV and you can just cancel it afterwards. But that documentary, um, that's where she got a lot of the information from, but um, it's hard to watch. Like it's not something that you can just watch on YouTube because there's some really graphic information and um, some parts of it I even teared up. So anyways, that's about an hour long. So if you want to watch it, watch it. But it's it's really intense and um it just talks about the fetish fetishizing 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 i don't know <laughs> anyways it talks about you know lighter skin um beauty standards people growing up with darker skin and um how this entire movement started well within america um as you know even cleopatra Thousands of years ago, she was bathing in donkey's milk, gallons and gallons of donkey's milk to keep her skin white and bright and clear. So it's like we're working with thousands of years of this as a whole all across the world, whether you're in India, if you're in Africa, or if you're in the United States of people just um, thinking that, you know, a lighter, brighter skin is beautiful and that's not to say that darker skin isn't but it's like when you're going against that i mean i don't know like i said if you're one of those people who i don't know before you thought your skin was ugly or holding you back and you could find no beauty within yourself then doing this 
probably is not going to fix your problems. I think you probably have something a little deeper. And um, yeah, sadly, this isn't going to be the magic wand. Um, don't for a second think that light skinned girls don't get cheated on or white girls don't have their man trying to screw their other friends. <laughs> um, you know, or that, you know, they don't have to worry about keeping their man around. Like, I'm, this is not gonna end all of your problems. I'm sorry. So if you're doing this, you should be doing this just because, just like you would a new gym membership or any type of body modification. Um, it's just something that you want to do. You're not doing it for anyone else. And you're not doing it thinking that your life is just, you know, this is all you are. Oh my gosh, light skin. Um, and also don't do it as the only way to be beautiful. Because trust me, there are a lot of light skinned people who look like dogs. <laughs> there are a lot of white people who will never get half the attention as someone with darker skin who is just naturally pretty. Like, I don't know. I hate when people think that like lighter or whiter skin, like, oh my gosh, this is beauty. And it's just like, you have to already be attractive. I'm sorry. That's what I mean. Like, this is not a magic wand. Um, if you're trying to do this thinking you're going to get a guy, well, first off, he's probably not shit anyways. <laughs> if skin is really that important to him and, um, I think you need to have more respect in yourself to walk away from any situation like that. If you're around people who truly care about this, to not want anything to do with you. And then it's just because of your skin. Like I said, usually it's not because of your skin. There's some other underlying issues. You, I don't know. Anyways, and maybe it's not with you. Maybe they're just the fuck boy. I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you everything. Skin lightening, it, it's not the end to all of your problems um, and whiter or lighter is not necessarily going to make you beautiful okay so you you can't just have that going for you and if that is the only thing that you're about to have going for you then you're still not gonna be happy sadly it's gonna just be an endless you know, snowball effect of doing more, 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 this, that, this, that, and, um, yeah, so, <sighs> if you're having any type of depression or sadness with your skin, you probably should not do this. I mean, this is kind of like a roller coaster anyways, because, like, it just takes so freaking long. I don't know how to preach self-acceptance when we, we do so much to modify ourselves from cosmetic dentistry, putting freaking fake teeth in our mouth. What are those things called um, people are getting? They're really expensive. They're like thousands of dollars <laughs> um, to just getting braces and not necessarily needing them for anything. Just, you know, cosmetic purposes, you know, beauty is straight teeth, um, bleaching our teeth, which does take off the enamel. So. Now you're going to have more brittle teeth. Like there's tons of different modifications that we do and no one really gives a shit. No one really gives you as much crap, but oh my gosh, people want to change the, um, the hue of their skin or go down a few tones and it's just like, oh shit, <laughs> colorist, you know, you're giving into the white man or stuff like that. And, um, <sighs> anyways, it's just kind of unfair, really. It's kind of unfair. One thing that I got that I'll share um, from, because um, I watched a few of the girl Chrissy's videos on her channel. Um, she's very much pro black woman, feminist type. And um, a lot of her stuff was very, um, was very interesting to watch. That's why I watched oh, <laughs> quite a few of her videos, um, as well as then checking into the documentary. I'll just let you guys watch it. I'll let you guys watch it and let me know. What was your, what did you take away from watching those documentaries and hearing different people speak and share their story? I mean, to me, it's just the world is unfair. I mean, I'm sorry, we don't make up what body types are attractive or what parents were born to or what we have naturally, but is it such a crime? Is it such a sin if we if we safely do these things to change our look, I'll just leave it there.